Hi there guys, it's Pip here and welcome to this webinar about how to make friends as a young adult across the UK. So first of all, you should be proud of the fact that you are looking to improve your social life. Many people are afraid to admit they even need a friend and I've included, of course, a wonderful picture of friends. So I'm just going to go through a few things with you this evening. Um, now, for those of you who have already introduced yourself, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we've gone through who's here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. So my name is Pip. As you know, I'm just in my 30s. I have set this up because really it comes from my own background and story. I moved away when I was in my early 20s and I really honestly had no friends. My only friends were kind of when I was at work and when I went home, really, I had no kind of social life whatsoever. I went to a few um clubs and things like that but I didn't really feel I, I fitted in I couldn't find a club where there was just people of my own age that wasn't kind of um you know sports and that sort of thing and um, I even got discriminated against uh, this is something here in Wales where um, it's called U3 a uh, university of the third age which basically is a posh way to say really old people retired people um, and I've been told I was told um when I inquired about a couple of things that actually I wasn't allowed to go to that because I wasn't of the right age, um, which was a bit sad, really. Um, but anyway, that was that. So I wasn't a pubs and clubs girl. And I remember a couple of times, um, literally on my days off, I would roll up to the car park where I had my job and I would literally play the radio for a couple of hours. Um, I was so bored. I just couldn't find a place to be. So... If you are feeling like that, if that's you, if you're going home and you're just like, oh, it's just such a struggle nowadays, people don't seem to connect, then this is for you. Now, for those of you who are here, um, obviously we said, please use your hand to ask questions. Please no eating. Um, or if you're going to eat, just pop yourself on mute for me. And just pop your mobile phone on silent. Um, and if you need something, just turn your camera off. Most of you have got your camera off anyway, and you're not going to be showing on the recording, so no problem. Loneliness in young adults is common. It's due to COVID. Um, so a lot of relationships just kind of dwindled. Uh, we lost that connection. Um, and, you know, we had to get used to being alone, I think. So that has changed us and changed the landscape that we operate on. Jobs and shifts, family coming first, budgets and bills, moving away, friends that have moved on or you've changed. Maybe you've moved away or they've got a partner or kids, or maybe even you have now. The other thing is we're not taught how. I don't know about you. I never had any friendship 101 classes. And um, along with many other things, discipline and, um, you know, confidence and self-image, all those things we should have been taught. So we want friendships. Why? Well, it feels um, wonderful. And the effects are with that we have great connections. We feel heard. We feel that we belong. We've got a sense of growth and being uplifted. And uh, they're there for you when you need the most and you feel loved. And I think that's really what everyone's really looking for. We want to feel like we belong. We're here on a purpose. We're noticed. We're not just, um, you know, this body kind of going around day to day and just doing things and kind of just an invisible man. Um, so that's really why we want our friends and as I say you should be proud that you're looking to improve your social life why do we need to connect so I was going to play you a little video by Brené Brown um, but at the moment I think I'm going to skip that especially for you guys on the replay because I know a few of you have said that you're a little bit pushed for time tonight but there is a wonderful video called The Power of Vulnerability by Brené Brown it is available on YouTube but in a nutshell it transpires that having no or few friends does not mean you are lonely you can be perfectly all right on your own for me I'm an introvert so I'm quite quite often all right and not too bad um, by my lonesome and um, it doesn't mean that you have no social skills that you are unlovable or that people don't want to be around you for those of you who would have social phobia or social anxiety and uh, we can have and have these preconceived ideas about people wanting to be around us and it's not true it's just that maybe they have other things going on maybe they don't realize that you have other friends maybe they're waiting for you to make the first move a lot of people who feel lonely actually don't realize that others are lonely they think everyone's got tons of friends and it's just them um, definitely not the case so 
in your 20s your priorities do change again you're doing a lot of soul finding and keeping friends in structured environments like school college and uni is easier because we just kind of turn up and there we are again you've got jobs and shifts that will take up your time when you'd maybe meeting your friends you know after school and all that sort of thing family coming first a lot of people discover this in their 20s and um, you know sometimes they have parents who have certain conditions um and we have less time to socialise sometimes. And um, so we have to choose carefully. Got budgets and bills coming in, less money to spend on restaurants and going out. Moving away, a geographical distance is the time it takes to travel and travel arrangements. Personality changes. And again, they've or you've got partner or kids. Um, so yeah, big priority changes there going on. So what we're going to do is I would encourage you to make high quality friends. Now we do have a separate webinar all about the how of making friends, what to look for. Um, we're gonna go through some places to make friends and I'm gonna give you a list in the chat box which you've already got there. And then we're gonna wrap up with a special surprise. So let's go. So we're just gonna jump across here and I'm gonna show you this Word document I popped together. Now I have popped a, a sort of reduced version um, on your um in the chat that box there for you because this is this is about yeah about 14 pages on guys so there's something out there for you called the onside youth zones.org and this is an incredible um collective strategy it's brought several groups together and it's really really um amazing uh, basically the bya aims to have a great impact on improving young lives more than any one organization can achieve individually and i've put a list of some of the groups here so they are things like step up to serve which i had never heard of and other things as well like that you may have heard of so scouts girl guiding natural national citizens um service trust which is predominantly for 15 to 17 year olds but they encourage young adults to volunteer uk youth the duke of edinburgh award the british youth council which is political and, and inspires young people to have a voice in politics the national youth agency the prince's trust on side youth zones and youth united which is for uniforms and um, people so whether you're working in police force the fire department that sort of thing Others I found were included the Boys and Girls Clubs. These are rife over England, but I'd never heard of them. The Queen's Trust, the, the Jack Petchy Foundation, which operates in young London. Young Manchester was at Greenwich, which it operates in Greenwich, UK. The Rally International, the youth-led organisation DMK Potential. My Life, My Say, which is another political organisation, again, inspiring young people to have a voice. The Lord Mayor's Charity Appeal, which is not age specific and operates in London. The Canals and Rivers Trust, believe it or not, which again is not age specific and other things as well, like the Air Cadets, the Sea Cadets, and then things like Eventbrite and Meetup.com. So I am just actually going to copy and paste some of these and I'm going to read them out to you, but I want to show you the actual websites so that you can see where, um, where we're at. So I'm just going to jump over. I'm just going to jump back to the yeah that's absolutely fine i just wanted to check everything was okay let's jump back to sharing the screen just checking for comments here no comments as yet you're all okay fantastic that's wonderful so i'm just going to go for um the back to google chrome here we are So here we are on Google Chrome, and I'm just going to show you now the uh, first website, which is meetup.com. Meetup.com is really, really easy to use, guys. And all you need to do is just scroll down the neighborhood. You can see when it's going to start, and you can even do things like join a group, find an event, or start a group yourself. It's free to create an account. You just click join meetup. It'll take you to a little sign up. You can sign up different ways, and it's super, super easy to use. Let's just go back here. So, and you can see some of the things down here that are included. Um, the wonderful thing about Meetup is you can join for anywhere. You don't have to really um, be anywhere specific in the world. You can join anything, whatever your interests are, there's something out there for you. Um, there's even like online Meetup groups that meet up in person as well. So it's really, really good. The second one we're going to go to is Eventbrite. This is eventbrite.com. Oh, no, that's not what we want. 
there we go. Just made to put in the wrong URL. Here we are. Eventbrite, again, really, really easy. Now, it's super simple. You can see there that that's um, a yoga class that's going on. And if you scroll down to here, you can find different events. So you've got things like London events, um, all different kind of cities. You can sell tickets online, this sort of thing, nonprofit and fundraising events. You can find out how it works, um, pricing, sort of that sort of thing. But let's go on to how it works just so that you can see a little bit about it. There we go. So Eventbrite is leading management and growth platforms helping creators and entrepreneurs thrive. So you don't have to be a creator or an entrepreneur. You can just go along to some of these things. A lot of them are physical meetups and it's really, really good. It's also great if you want to find tickets as well. So that's a really, really nifty site. Let's just hop back here. Okay. And we'll go to the Boys and Girls Club. Now, I was really, really shocked to find out um, how many of these there are um, around and about. So I'm just going to copy the link, jump back, and here we go. And it's nabgc.org.uk. And if you look at um, kind of members, you can see all their county members quite a lot here going on you can get in touch you can um, ask about different things and um, they're basically kind of like the scouts in a nutshell um, there's some very very young looking people there but there's also a great way to um, interact and to volunteer as well you're often um, in touch with kind of teenagers and um, older teenagers that sort of thing and it's really really interesting um, what they do so you don't have to have any skills or hobbies. Um, if you click on this, you'll be able to see things about the news, about what they're doing. There's some boxing, that sort of thing. You know, and there's older adults as well, as you can see. So I'll leave you to explore that yourself. Again, it's really, really exciting. So that's the National Association of Boys and Girls Clubs. Now, we're going to go to step up to serve. This is for volunteering, really, if you're in your 20s. It's there to really help young adults um, volunteer and get involved in younger people. It's actually a um, government um, kind of organisation. Um, and it's a really great way to get involved and volunteer. Predominantly, um, it's made up of young people kind of 16 to 24 who are unemployed, but you can be older than that as well. Here we go, if we click about step up to serve, again, it's just a really, really great way to get involved. Anyway. There we go, there we go. So yeah, it's for young adults who want to make a difference and you can volunteer with them, absolutely. So I'll leave you to explore that and there's more in the comments. So again, let's jump back. Now, I didn't know this, but the Scouts have a networking. Now, I thought the Scouts really finished when um, you were kind of a teenager, but that is not the case at all. I'm just going to get up some notes here. If you type in the scouts.com, you will not find it. So, as you can see, the Scout Network is the fifth and final section for 18 to 25 year olds. And in fact, 20,000 of them. Um, and it's really interesting. They go on adventures, sometimes abroad, and um, they go internationally as well. You can play this little video, um, which I will do now, actually. Um, Actually, no, you can play that yourself because I know some of you are watching the replay. As I say, I don't want to um, rush you. This is really, really exciting, guys. But it's a super, super place. And um, absolutely, you can go there anytime. I'm just going to check the comment section. Yeah, you really like it. Yeah, I did too. That's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, boys and girls clubs. Yeah, didn't know about that either myself.
Absolutely. Yep, so the Scout Network is develop skills, pursue your interests, positive social change, independence of citizens, um, life-changing international activities, and um, strong links and appreciation for difference between um, others in the community, all sorts of things. So it's really, really easy to get involved. So let's hop back and find out the next place for you. Okay, so let's go to this one, Rally International. Now, Rally International is, uh, what it pretty much says in the tin, is an international organisation. And what it does is um, it allows people to get involved worldwide um, in other countries um, to make a difference and make a positive impact. Now, for some of these adventures, you do need to be older. You know, you need to be 24, 25, or even 26. Um, at the minute, they've got a Costa Rica program that you can go on, but it's really, really exciting and it's really, really for positive change. Um, there's a number of quite intense uh, things that you can go on and uh, it's just amazing. And there's a lot of young people that um, volunteer. You can see the event dates there and you just apply online. Super, super simple. Most of you um, will not have heard of this. I certainly hadn't, but it's really, really exciting. And again, you can just go on rallyinternational.org, volunteering, and you can find out more. Now, I want to jump across to DMK Potential. Now, DMK Potential is a place basically to support young people, give them a chance, amplifying and championing their voices to those in power, engaging and empowering them to make a difference, including by developing them to including by supporting them to develop the skills to do so. Um, they allow spaces to find volunteering opportunities in the local community. There's DMK Advantage as well, which is really, really helping young people to advantage, to um, improve and to uh, aspire to do better. And um, so we'll have a quick look at their website as well. Just gonna accept their cookies. You can read all about it there. And um, I am just going to actually play with you this little video because I think it's quite inspiring. Um... Okay, here we go. And Hi, I'm Karen and I'm Karen, I'm one of the trustees at the Young Hi everyone, my name is Bassett and I'm a trustee at the Young Potential. Hello, I'm Jamie and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at DMK Potential. Hello! My name's Jude, I'm 16 years old, and I'm the director of DMK Advantage. Hi, I'm Chin, and I'm a volunteer at DMK Potential. DMK Potential is important to me because I know what it's like to have to fight your own voice, and your own voluntary room, school placement, or work opportunities. And I want to make sure that everyone, no matter who they are or where they come from, gets the same chance as this time. Get involved with the MK Potential 
There we go, guys. I think that was just amazing. Um, so that's one opportunity. And this is similar with many of the places um, that are volunteering. They are to do with young people, um, but it's a great place to volunteer for because quite often these are held up by very young adults. So it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's that one. Let's jump back and go for the next one, Youth United. This is for um four to oh I don't know why it says that. Um so it's there for basically uniformed people. So if you are in the fire brigade or anything like that, this is one for you. NYI.org.uk. Oops, Daisy. Coming up with all its bits and pieces. Here we are. Oh, begging your pardon, this is something slightly different. Anyway, I, sorry, I've got confused. It's a national youth agency. So it's a national youth body for work. So if you're interested in youth work or you want to get involved, it's an incredible way to do that. So it's very similar to, uh, to DYK. And go check it out. Jumping back then. Volunteering Matters is another one. Again, these will all be in your sheets. Well, really, really amazing. Um, really, really great place to get involved. There isn't really a limit on this one that I found in terms of age, um, but you can go and check it out again. It's really, really interesting and insightful. You can get involved all over the country. Uh, you can sign up to the newsletter. You can volunteer safely. You can learn about them. Um, you can go to you know your different parts. So there's Scotland and Wales here. So again, another really great place to be. UK Youth. Now this is an umbrella organisation and it works with um, just so many people. Um, it's a great place again to volunteer primarily um, but we'll go and check it out and have a quick look for you. As you can see you can sign up here um, and if you look at the menu and about what they do you can see all the different movements. You can see about them, how to work with UK youth, for example. There's even jobs going, sort of thing. 
So it's really, really amazing. And um, there's just lots of different ways to get involved. Um, yeah, you can learn about them, what they do. National Partners. They're on Instagram, you can subscribe to their letter. It's really, really exciting. And the more you click around um, on the site, the more you can really find out more. Super, super simple. As board of trustees, a little bit older, you must be young people as well. And um, it's up to you. Again, you can do as much or as little as you want. So that's that one. And they have so many different programs. So you can get involved in so, so many different things. Empower Her, Outdoor Activators, Generation Code, Reach Up, which is for 16 to 25 year olds who are um, out of work. Sound Creators that work with music, UPS Road Code to help uh, teach young adults um, how to, you know, be, be road safe. Um, and, you know, especially driving as well and helping disadvantaged and vulnerable young people with your space, things like that. So we're going to move on a little bit now, though, and I want to go to um, this one, which is Sea Cadets. Now, there's obviously things like that are super, super simple. Sea Cadets is, and I am just going to um, bear with me. Thought I saw a little comment there. Yeah, never heard of it either. No, never heard of it either myself. Let's jump back on here. So the Sea Cadets, uh, which is super exciting. You can get involved that way. This is predominantly for people who want to, um, you know, be with people who want to be in the Navy. There's obviously, there's the Army Cadets which is, let me find that one, there's the Royal, Royal Marine uh, Cadets as well, um, and I'm just going to jump across to this one too, just checking, can you see my screen, no you can't see my screen, it's silly me. There it is, it's great. So I'm cadet officers. You can volunteer with them. Adult instructors and adult cadet officers. So you can volunteer. Um, you can also go to It hasn't quite found it. Never mind, guys. See cadets, which is it. So this is the job with them. Volunteer and um, see cadets is again for sort of the older range group and um, so young adults too. And really, really exciting. So that's that one. Let's dive back. Now there's the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, and it's a mission of about 850 young leaders who are driving change. Members are 18 to 35 and have a positive effect on social change. There's two uh, elements of the membership. So one is a commitment to contribute to the network and share knowledge of support with others and a consultation of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust strate strategic direction, values, funding principles and more. So let's have a quick look at this one. Again, these will all be in your sheets, guys. Now, this is a bit of a boring website, I'm going to be honest with you, but if you want to find out a bit more, you can click Get Involved. You can learn about what they're about. I like this one. If you're 18 to 35 and actively leading positive social change in the Commonwealth, apply to join it. Now, you might want to join this if you're already uh, volunteering with an organisation. Maybe you are part of a youth club, uh, like you, Miranda. And, um, you know, it's a great way to, again, get involved. 
step today you can have latest news that sort of thing just find out a bit more about what it's all about you've always got the duke of edinburgh award and this is for 14 to 25 years old there's also the prince's trust as well so the duke of edinburgh uh, was obviously a great way to get out there the duke of edinburgh predominantly asks you to do three things so you have to do an expedition sorry four things you have to do an expedition get involved in sports a social and a skill so depending on what level you do will depend on um you know how long you're doing it for um gold i think is a year to do all of those things you have to do each of these things for a year and it does really bring people together you can find out lots more about it probably some of you have done duke of edinburgh anyway and um, again, it's just a fantastic way to get involved. Um, yeah, princestrust.org.uk, I will show you this one. So again, this is young adults here, they're, oh, Daisy, right in the class of COVID because that still had an effect on a lot of young people. Um, you can see the age range is there so it's all there for you guys to get involved meet other people and yeah really really get it going so we're now going to move on to some political um organizations in case you are interested in standing up as a young voice ready to be heard so this is byc.org.uk it's british youth council and young adults get involved and have their voices heard um, so you can find out all about it you can subscribe you can look at all their videos and they're recruiting for ambassadors at the moment so yeah get involved and have your say there's also another one as well which is this one my life my say so i'd put the link here maybe not type it in my life might be say good or Google eh? Here we are. You can see all about their videos, young people getting involved. All different denominations. This one seems to be speaking a lot. Um but it's a great way to get involved there we are just going to jump back to the main screen guys any comments yeah totally agree yeah yeah we're not yeah we don't know how to get involved in politics these days do we yeah absolutely absolutely so let's go back to this one now moving on there may be some near you now, if you're near Wrexham, near the border, there's a vow, which is a great way to get involved in um, near the Wrexham and Cheshire area. The Association of Voluntary Organisations in Wrexham. Um, if you're already doing bits and pieces, you can get involved in that. It's kind of like an organisation, a bit like the Queen's Trust kind of thing. Um, it allows organisations to get together. So if you're already part of things, you can get involved. Um, but you can also get volunteering as well. Um, and this is a volunteering page at the moment. You can see that there's an Avow Youth-led grant panel going on at the moment, which is something in particular I did want to show you. So it's really, really interesting. Now there's others as well now that you can get involved in. So there is the BBC Children in Need. Now you can be a volunteer for this. Oh, just loading there with me a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, that's a good comment. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's go back. Except all. And you can find bits and get them involved. There's actually a map here. So taking a guess, a random guess on where I am. And you can see 
Ooh, there's loads of stuff to get involved in, guys, so don't miss out. Now, we're going to jump back and we're going to go for this one. So this is um, Outdoor Activators. So they they engage young people from Newcastle, Coventry, Northumberland and Leicestershire. Um, let's go and find them. So these are going to be now more kind of um, central to certain areas. So Again, it comes under UK youth, but it's specific to Newcastle, Coventry, Northumberland and Leicestershire. So if you are in those areas, feel free to get involved in this. Again, this will be in your sheet or you can find it through the UK youth website. There's the Rio Ferdinand Foundation, um, which is really about uh, inequality. Um, and it works predominantly across UK and Ireland with central hubs in Manchester, Belfast and London. So let's just jump over to here. get involved by through the contact us page that is the best way to get involved and um, i've reached out to these guys and they did say it's just best to and um, send them a quick email and get involved if you want to be part of that so just jumping back there's a jack petchy foundation for across london and watch up what's up greenwich as well um, so the Jack Petchy Foundation was found up by Sir Jack Petchy to um, celebrate young people. There's lots of going on in the programme. It's for 11 to 25 year olds, as is What's Up Greenwich as well. And um, there's also youngmanchester.org.uk. So if I type in Jack Petchy Foundation, you can find it org.uk really really easy to get involved again guys um, i know it's showing a lot of young young children here but it is also a great way to get involved and show a bit of leadership you can see all the different things going on there and they do need volunteers oopsie daisy i have misspelled that What's up, Greenwich? Is in particular very important for young ladies if you are in London. Um, it's around with um, We Are Patrick. So, this is to do with, um, in particular, uh, protecting young ladies in particular and helping them um, be safe. But it's also about many other things as well. I would again encourage you to um, check out the site. This is again through the Volunteering Matters website. So, that's it about that and there's several others as well that i'm going to include in your sheet i think however that is enough for the recording and as i say i want to keep it short because i know some of you've got to go so we'll move on back to the powerpoint there is something i want to show you so do you remember i said about making high quality friends yeah there's a principle out there called oqp and it means only quality friends and I did promise you at the end that we would wrap up with something special. So let's go. Now, all that sounds very exciting, doesn't it? But what if you're like this? But Pip, this is me after work. I just don't have the energy. I don't have the time. I get in and I'm just, bleh, okay? And that's quite often the case for a lot of us this winter. We get in and it's been a hard day's work and we're like, do you know what? I haven't got the energy to go out and meet people. Your Saturdays are taking up doing the bits and pieces around the house. Sunday you are having a little chill out and you really don't feel like going anywhere. Well, we have something for you. Yes, going out. This is maybe how you feel. Certainly how I've been feeling. We have a membership and it's the needs of a mindset membership what is all that about well it's an incredible meetup that um, goes on once a um, once a week and it's an incredible place for people to meet up and be part of a community you don't have to go out anywhere you don't have to do anything you just turn up in your gym jams 
maybe with a packet of crisps and it will get chatting. Now this is to connect all young adults over the UK, although of course it can be older, it's predominantly the kind of 20 to 35 year olds. It's going to be 7pm to 8.30pm and that can be on a Saturday or a Monday. Predominantly I want to do it on a Saturday because there are some people from the US which might like to join us as well. And we're going to be doing a mindset lesson and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that now to keep a positive boosted, especially this winter and so a lot of fear mongering going on. So this is kind of what it will look like. These are uh, actually not people from the community. This is a um, screenshot I found of a similar, when I was looking and doing some research about a young man adults meetup. And, you know, these people didn't know each other before then, uh, but they're having a, a hell of a time and it's just super exciting. So this could be you guys, so do come along. What are the benefits of the meetup membership? Well, there's many. So it reduces isolation. It prevents depression. There's no petrol, drinks, eat out costs, no traffic, icy roads, rain, childcare, um, rushing, anything like that. Um, you can come in your PJs or your onesie. You can bring your snack or drinks. There's no people bailing at last minute or if they do, it really doesn't matter because I set it up. There's no kind of where are you calls and text, you know, where are you? You said you would be here. Now I'm standing in the freezing cold. We've all had that, haven't we? There's, you don't have to go to loud, crowded public places especially if you don't want to um there's less exposure to uh, germs uh you don't need to as i say arrange anything you just log on and go you keep your spirits up connect with like-minded people all over the uk and you have that love that connection that belonging you feel heard and you can share your problems so everything is to gain now why do we study mindset now this is something interesting and there's a lot of reasons. So what I really want to introduce you to is basically this book. Now, this is Think and Grow Rich. And if you're part of our private um, Facebook group, you'll have seen me do this on the Theory Thursday. But there is no way that I can go through this with you on the Thursday Theory. And the reason I want to introduce you to this book is I have had a lot of entrepreneurial books in my um, library, as you know. Um, but this is something that really struck me the other day. And I'll, for all the books, I think this is the best. Now, this guy that I'm showing you on screen is Gary Vaynerchuk. He is a very successful guru. And he didn't come from a very great place. And he says something that is so true. And that is that most people will panic to find a charger before their phone dies. But they won't panic, panic to find a plan before their dream dies. Now, many of you know that I was lucky enough to be taught by Bob Proctor and King Calvert. Um, I have studied this. This is Thinking Into Results. And it's really some incredible mindset and I want to share that with you. But it came all from this book, Think and Grow Rich. And I'm going to show you how important it is just by reading you a little bit of an extract. Now, it starts off really asking you what do you want? So what do you want most? Is it money, fame, power, contentment, personality, peace of mind or happiness. The 13 steps to riches, or riches, not just financial riches, described in this book offer the shortest dependable philosophy for individual achievement ever presented for the benefit of the man or woman who's searching for a definite aim in life. Before beginning the book, you will profit greatly if you realise the fact that this book is not really merely written to entertain you cannot digest of contents properly in a week or in a month to write you know bob proctor the great multimillionaire he studied this for over 60 years and we're going to have a quick look at a video by him in a moment as well so what is this book and where did it come from well it was written by a guy called napoleon hill and for some of you you'll be thinking well it sounds like a really oldie book not at all it's super easy to um do and join and this book conveys the experience of more than 500 great men of great wealth who began at scratch with nothing to give in return for riches except thoughts, ideas and organised plans. So I will be telling you a bit more about that in a moment. And we're just going to have a quick look at this video. I'll just bring it up for you. Okay, guys, so um, I do apologise about that. This is taking a little while to load. So let's go back and have a quick look at the Meetup and Mindset community. So 
So as some of you have said, whoopsie daisy, here we go. And um, that this is you, as I said, you are just really, really, really just like, yeah, I've had enough. Going out is like, oh, last thing I need. Dark rainy nights, no thank you. I uh, don't really fancy that. So we're launching the Meetup membership. Now, what is this about? As I say, it's Meetup membership once a week. It is from seven o'clock UK time to 8.30 UK time. And it's going to include an amazing mindset lesson for a positivity boost as well. So one hour Meetup, have a laugh, have a banter, come in your dressing gown, come in your onesie, come with a packet of crisps, come with the spouse, come with whatever you want and just have a laugh and a banter. Now, for those of you in the US, uh, you might not be wearing your jammies at that time or in other time zones, but you're welcome to come along. It will still be at the same time. So remember to convert your time zone to UK time to make sure that you are um, going to be joining it. So what about this mindset lesson? Eh? What is this all about? And what are the benefits first of all? Well, this could be you. Now, this is uh, not members that we already have, but this is a screenshot from a, um, I was asking a few people actually basically about um, kind of meetups and things. And I came across a, a little club and they said to me, you know, you can you can um, have a screenshot of one of our meetups. And this is where somebody had actually just told a joke. And um, these people didn't know each other when they started off. Everyone was a little bit nervous, a little bit shy. Some people had cameras off. This is, um, you know, a bit later on. They're really, really getting along well. So they said to me, it's a great idea. Go ahead. And um, this could be you. This is what I want our membership to look like. So please, 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 um, if you are interested, let me know. And what are the benefits, as I say? Well, it reduces isolation. It helps prevent that depression and that anxiety. Uh, it's great for you, actually, if you have social anxiety. It's a great place to practice interactive skills. And um, you don't have to spend money on petrol or gas if you're in the US. Drinks, eat out costs. There's no traffic, icy roads, no rain. You're not having to spend with childcare, as I say. No rushing. You can come in your PJs, your onesie. You can bring drinks or a snack. No people bailing at last minute, or if they do, who cares? Because you don't have to arrange anything. You just turn up anyhow. You just turn up like on your phone or on your laptop, on your tablet, wherever. Um, no kind of where are you cause and text that like, you told me you would be here. I've driven half an hour and it's pouring down. Oh yeah, I forgot I couldn't come. Yeah, you know those calls we all have them. Um, you're not in loud, crowded public spaces. People going, what did you say? Those kind of exciting conversations we have when we're out. Uh, less exposure to germs, especially COVID. Um, maybe you're, you know, in a um job where you can't be exposed to germs because that will affect your time off if you have to take time off you don't have to arrange anything as i say just log on and go it'll keep your spirits up you connect with like-minded people all over the uk you've got love collection belonging feel heard and you share your problems now what about this mindset lesson a what what is this all about why do we want to do this well it's to do with the fact that life is important your life is important and i feel in this day and age that a lot of you are not being taught about success mindset mindset to help you be successful and this is a huge problem i see a lot of people struggling a lot of people suffering a lot of people going through anxiety depression um, or, or life just not being the way they want it to be and this is a great quote I want to show you by Gary Vaynerchuk. So Gary Vaynerchuk started from nothing. He worked very, very hard. And he is, uh, he does a lot of speeches because people are like, what's the secret? And he's like, hard work and discipline. You know, it's no secret. Um, and this is something that he said. He said, most people will panic to find a charger before their phone dies, but won't panic to find a plan before their dream dies. Now, some of you might not know your dreams, some of you might not know your core values, some of you might know, not know your internal beliefs. And this is really, really a huge problem. Some of you might have degrees, but not know very much about yourself. And that is today to be sad, the sad truth that it is the norm. Now, um, what I really want to show you in the mindset lesson is, as you know, the book that we have been studying in the Thursday theory. So I'm just going to stop sharing my screen for a moment. And it is this book, guys. This is Sink and Grow Rich, the original 1937 edition by Napoleon Hill. Now, I have scoured through my library and there's a lot of great books in there. But this is the book. Now, why is this the book? Well, because the great millionaire Bob Proctor read this book for 60 years 
he wasn't that slow a reader. He read it over a series of 60 years. And um, it just changed his life. And I want it to change yours. And in order to show you how much of an impact it can have, I am not only going to read to you uh, a couple of extracts from the book right now. It'll take about two minutes. But I'm also then going to show you a video from Dr. Proctor himself so that you can know the difference. So to start off with, just to let you know a little bit about the what this book is, I'm going to read you the foreword. So it says, what do you want most? Is it money? Is it fame, power, contentment, personality, peace of mind, or happiness? Now, I would say most of us actually want happiness, especially this winter, because there's a lot of fear going on, and it's so important for you to be exposing yourself to the right kind of mindset. So there's a 13 steps to riches described in this book offer the shortest dependable philosophy for individual achievement ever presented for the man or woman who, sorry, who, um, us who is searching for a definite goal in life put my false teeth in there before beginning this book you will proffer greatly if you recognize the fact that it cannot it was not written merely to entertain and you cannot digest the contents merely in a week or month now i'm not saying you have to spend 60 years reading this book and um, you can read this book in the time that it takes to read any book but it's a really really practical book i mean take page 27 there is a confidence formula here a confidence formula a formula for confidence you can learn confidence and this was the book that changed uh, Bob Proctor's life and the lives of many why is that well this book conveys the experience of more than 500 men of great wealth who began at scratch with nothing to give in return for riches all those riches whether it's happiness riches wealth financial riches peace of mind riches whatever those riches are except for thoughts ideas and organized plans that they had however Riches cannot always be measured in money. Moreover, the knowledge contained in this book can never be duplicated at any cost. For the reason that more than half of the 500 men, probably all of them now, who supplied this information have sadly passed on, including sadly Napoleon Hill, who wrote this book. It took him 20 years to read. But it says money and material things are essential for body, for freedom of body and mind. But there are some who will feel the greatest of all riches can be evaluated only in terms of lasting friendships, harmonious family relationships, sympathy and understanding between business associates and colleagues, and introspective harmony, harmony within that brings one peace of mind measurable only in spiritual values. All those who read and apply this philosophy will be better prepared to will be better prepared to attract and enjoy all those higher states. Be prepared, therefore, when you, when you expose yourself to the influence of this philosophy to experience a changed life, which may help you not only negotiate your way through life of harmony and understanding, but to also to prepare you for the accumulation of material riches in abundance. Well, you don't have to believe me on that. Let's listen to Bob Proctor and what he actually has to say on the matter. So I am just going to share my screen. And here he is. So I'm just going to actually detach from my headphones, guys. You should be able to hear this. I have turned the volume right up. And this is so that you can. Excellent. Here we go. Okay. Hello. Hello there, welcome. You know, if you're an entrepreneur or if you're really tired of things you want to wait on and you'd really like to change it, I want to suggest you really tune into what I'm about to say. Because this could definitely change your life. I've been reading this book, Think and Grow Rich now, for 59 years. I started reading it in 1961. And the man that gave it to me said, if you read this every day, you can get anything you want. I didn't believe that. I was broke. I mean, I was experiencing a tough time. But he said, you have to read it every day. And I don't know why, but I, I started that. I take it with me or I'm on the plane. It gives me a chance to read things. I do a lot of flying. Well, I was reading it on the plane the other day and I come across a paragraph. Listen very closely to this. He said, Remember too that all who succeed in life get off to a bad start. And they pass through many heartbreaking struggles, struggles before they arrive. The turning point in the lives of those who succeed 
usually comes at the moment of some crisis through which they are introduced to their other self. We preach that again. Remember, too, that all of the succeed in life get off to a bad start and pass through many heart-beating struggles before they arrive. The turning point in the lives of those who succeed usually comes at the moment of some crisis through which they are introduced to their other selves. Well, you know, I was reading that in the play, and that kind of this is so true, because that's exactly where I was when he gave me this book. Uh, I couldn't hold a job, probably. I mean, I was unhappy. I was broke. I owed more money than I than I was earning. If I had just given everything I earned in 18 months, I would have just broken even. And it's so different. You know, this was a long time ago now. I sat down, I took a pen um, a number of years ago in Chicago. I lived in Chicago for five years. And I said, I'm going to build a company that operates all over the world. And I was using this book. Well, today we operate in 80 some countries. And when we stream a seminar, we went to 116 in the last seminar. And I believe you can take a pen, you can make up your mind to do anything. At any rate, I was reading this book on a plane here just recently, and I came across that paragraph again. And I thought, that is so true. And that's exactly where I was. I was in a real bad spot. If you're in a real bad spot, you can change it, you can change it like that. Well, I was earning 4,000 a year. One year later, I was earning $14,500 a month. If you annualize that, that's $175,000. So that's, I multiplied my income by 40 in, in a year. In a year. And people always ask me, what can you do? I don't think it matters what you're doing. I think it matters how you're doing it. I, went, I started off as a cleaning company. I just started cleaning offices. The way it went. There we go. That is from Bob. I'm just going to click myself in again. And then back to the, set, the, the PowerPoint presentation because I have something super, super special to share with you because it is this book that we want to be studying to keep your mind alive, to keep you passionate and going this winter and to really teach you the success mindset. You know, I don't think we should wait until people start to struggle. Why don't we make success practice? something that we do every day and you know what the world is looking for new leaders this is a great time this post-covid era because there is so much opportunity but only if you know how so i'm going to be reading and we are going to be studying this book once a week it's going to be super exciting and that is after we have an amazing hour of fun laughter banter and connection so let me just share this with you Remember this, most people will panic to find a charge before their phone dies, but won't panic to find a plan before their dreams die. So the Meetup membership, what is the cost and what are your commitments? Well, as I said, it's once a week and there is a cost involved. It's a membership like a gym membership, although a lot cheaper than a gym membership. It's an exercise club for the mind, really, and for the soul as well. Again, I do have to obviously pay for the Zoom, but also it's going to be a great space to exercise your mind for you, not for anybody else. So it is $34.99 as new or $39.99 USD. However, though, because you are going to join before it kicks off and uh, you do get £5 off and that is going to be yours for life or five dollars if you're in the US. So it's going to be down to $29.99 if you're in the UK or $34.99 if you're in the USA. And if you think about it guys, you know, $29.99, that's like what? About three hours working on minimum wage. So you could go in the first day of the month, work three hours and and a little bit. And you've already paid for an incredible membership, which might end up going in a similar, taking you in a similar direction to the way Bob Proctor went. Is that worth it? I'd say so. 
but the discount does expire and expires 7 p.m uk next week the same time that this webinar started so if you're watching the recording you might have even less time but i have given you that duration so that you can also have a thing you can let your friends and family know but always remember the universe loves speed it rewards speed i reward speed as well and you can force this any anytime so there are terms and conditions you do need to contact me um as soon as you realize that you cannot pay if we've already um had a, a mindset lesson for that month then um that month will not be refunded okay so you do need to let me know in advance um but you can pause at any time i suppose it's a bit like netflix in that sense and we are launching the first meetup is saturday the 29th of october again 7 p.m so i've dropped the links below those of you who are watching this if you've got any questions just contact me on facebook uh, and that is it from me so i will let you go have the most wonderful rest of the day and i will see you very very soon and um, it will let me know as soon as you signed up but don't forget to use the discount and if you have it as i say any concerns or you want to reach out to me you know where i am and i just wish you the most blessed wonderful day and be savvy that's all i'm going to end with be savvy make 2023 your year you take care bye bye now